All right, what's up everyone? Welcome to the Surfside TPC YouTube channel. Today I'm gonna to be going over Google Countdowns. Um, it's also referred to as the countdown function. Sometimes they're referred to as countdown timers, but basically you can add countdowns right into your advertisements. And uh, what we're gonna do is use it for a limited time offer, which is the best way to use it. So if you're running a sale for Black Friday, if you're gonna be running any holiday sales, you can definitely incorporate these into your advertisements. So what you wanna do is come into your campaign, you're gonna go right into the ad section. We're gonna to click to add a new text ad. So you start with the final URL. You're gonna have obviously your headline one, headline two, description. Uh, so we'll just keep the final URL where it is. Uh, I'm gonna make up a fake offer here. I'm not actually offering this. So it's just gonna be free PPC advertising course. I'm gonna use the second headline to advertise the actual countdown. And I'm gonna use the third headline just to put my brand name. So Surfside PPC. So headline two here, what I'm gonna do is hurry offer ends in so that's it so just hurry offers ends in and then we're going to press space and do an opening bracket here so the opening bracket gives you the option for keyword insertion countdown or an if function we're just going to select countdown so the first thing you need to do is select when it actually ends so however long your promotion is going to be running for um, so obviously if something runs you know until black friday at midnight uh, then that's when you want your countdown to end so what we're going to do is just select our countdown ends on the 14th so on the 14th we're going to have it end we're just going to say right at midnight so basically when when it switches from the 13th to the 14th our countdown is going to end so nothing's going to run on the 14th at all and i want my countdown we'll just keep it right at five days here so countdown starts in five days so what that means is you could just sit here and count back so it's going to run one two, three, four, five days. So it's gonna start right Friday on the 9th at midnight, and then it's gonna run all day Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and right at Wednesday, right when these days turn, it's gonna end. So we're gonna have five days beforehand. Time zone, so the time zone will actually adjust to the user's time zone. The main thing is that if you're running a limited time offer on your website and you have it adjust to the ad viewer's time zone, you have to keep into account that someone in California might be three hours behind you, so if your advertisement still says there's three hours left on the sale, but on your website, the sale ends at midnight Easter time, then someone might go to your actual, you know, might go to your website, attempt to use the promo code and it doesn't work. So you have to make sure that the promo code will work within every single time zone. So to make it easier, you can just do a count time zone and just keep it as Eastern time. But I like to use ad viewers time zone and just keep that into account and just make sure that it actually, uh, uh, you know, the promo code that you have or whatever the offer is will actually still work for every single ad viewer's time zone until the last time zone hits midnight. So just keep that in mind as you're actually doing it. Usually what I'll do is I'll end my ads about a day before um, so that people don't see it, you know, with 10 minutes left and have to rush and try to figure it out. You know, if they see, oh, only 10 minutes left, it might still last for, you know, another few hours just to give that breathing room. So just keep that in mind as you're selecting a time zone. Language, so this uh, depends on syntax. So for language, for English, it's going to say examples, three days, five hours, 10 minutes. Let's just say, for example, we switch this to French. You'll see it's going to you know, come up like this. So it's just going to come up in a completely different language. So you just have to adjust the language for whichever language that people, you know, whichever language your customers speak. So for me, I'm just going to keep it as English, United States. So that's it. That's all we have to do right now. Click on apply. So it's going to say hurry offers in and it's going to say hurry offer ends in three days. So it might just say three days no matter what, but just know that when your advertisement's actually updating, um, it's going to have it correct on the Google search results. So just to look at the syntax here, it's going to say hurry offer ends in and it's going to say, you know, opening bracket equals countdown. So this is when your offer ends. This is the language you selected. And this is how many days before that your actual uh, ads will start to run. Uh, so when the countdown starts, so five days before the countdown end date, your countdown will start. So you have to make sure that you don't have these ads enabled way beforehand, way afterwards. So one way to do that is to use labels and set up automated rules. I'll show you how to do that quickly afterwards. Um, so using the description line one and two, so I'm just going to do description line one. I would definitely do two description lines, but I'm just going to do download our free PPC advertising course for free in the next and you can actually just copy and paste this here so something like that um, you could do all for ends you know 
offer ends in something like that. So just kind of create some urgency that so that's really what countdown timers are great for is to create urgency. So you know, offer ends in three days, you know, the next day, it's going to say offer ends in two days. So it's just going to continue to count down and create urgency rather than saying offer ends, you know, on November 23rd. So creating that urgency, this is a great way to do it. Uh, it might it will even go down to, you know, offer ends in three hours offer ends in 30 minutes. So you need those types of things, especially as you're running sales and you're trying to compete. You need to have things that make your ads stand out from the crowd. So this is a great way to do it. Um, if I was offering a free PPC advertising course and I said, hurry, the offer ends in three days, it's going to create urgency for people who say, okay, well, I can't wait. I might as well just click this and download it now while it's free and see if it's even you know, worth my time. So that's all you have to do. We're just going to click save here. I'm going to skip ad extensions for now. And I, now I want to show you. So you have different advertisements in your ad group. One thing you can do is use labels. So take your existing ads label. Uh, you can actually just, you know, I already have this added to it, enabled ads, click apply, make sure you have that label added to it. And what you can do is, you know, go to edit, create an automated rule. And you're just going to say type of rule, either pause or enable ads. So we're going to pause ads. And it's going to say apply to ads. You can do either do selected ads. What you can do is just do all enabled ads um, with the condition. So come down to label here with the condition enabled ads. So this is saying pause all enabled ads with this label. And you're just going to pick, you know, right when right when the countdown starts, what you want to do is pause your enabled ads and make sure you're enabling your countdown ads. So I think I had it start for November 9th. So I'm just going to say November 9th, right at midnight and using data from all time is fine. So rule name, you could just, you know, whatever. Um, so we're going to click on save rule. So what that's going to do is pause these and these ads with the label enabled ads right when the new, you know, right when my countdown ads start to run. So you can also do the same with your countdown ads. So you could just pause it for now and you can even just select it and just use that selected ad. So make it a little bit easier. So we're just going to do edit, create an automated rule. You could say enable ads and you could just do to the selected ad or selected advertisements. No condition needed for this one. I didn't add any labels to it. And we're just going to do once November 9th at midnight. So this will be one, two, three, four, save rule. So now what this says is take this ad and enable it right when our countdown starts take these ads and pause them right when our countdown starts. Now you want to set up other rules to make sure that you have them, you know, these ones pause again <clears throat> when the countdown ends and that these ones enable again when the countdown ends. So it's a great way to run limited time ads. Um, you can use Google ads at Google AdWords editor um, to actually create these advertisements in bulk. So what I'll do is I'll create one for this ad group and then copy and paste it into each and every ad group, maybe update the ad copy so it matches with the keywords as best as possible. Um, you obviously want to run two or three at the same time, um, like we do with our regular expanded text ads. So this is how countdowns work. They're pretty simple. It's a great way to promote a limited time offer, uh, especially with Black Friday coming up, with Cyber Monday coming up, all these different sales. It's a great way to have your ads stand out from competitors, improve those click-through rates, and you know anything you read about countdown ads, because I always look at statistics, seeing how things work. Um, you never see advertisers that use them that see worse performance. If you use them properly, they're going to increase your click-through rate, which is going to help increase your quality scores, which, you know, even for a limited time offer can help you create more conversions within your budget for that limited time offer. So anything that helps you get any of that edge and just, you know, improves your results is really something you want to try and test and countdowns is a great way to do it. You can incorporate them right in your ad in the headline, the description. So if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Uh, it's actually a pretty simple concept here. It's just one of those things that it just takes a little time to set up, a little time to create all the different advertisements, but you will see the performance. It is worth trying. You should test it during the holiday season as it's coming up and, and see if you can get anything, you know, any lift from using these types of advertisements. So thanks again for watching our video and make sure you subscribe to our channel.